So uh, the next guest in our press lounge is uh, Professor Monika Fuchs. And um, welcome to our press lounge and please be so kind and introduce yourself. Yeah, hello. Thanks very much for having me here. Uh, my name is Monika Fuchs, as you already said. Um, I'm from the University of um, Technical Appliances, uh, HTV Berlin. Mm -hmm. and, uh, uh, we have uh, different programs and uh, the one uh, I have a professorship is the program of uh, apparel technology mm -hmm. and uh, so we focus on all technical questions around uh, apparel and garment production and technical development things like that. Okay, and uh, you were also one of the lecturers yesterday mm -hmm. um, and you talked about like a very interesting point that um, there's like a lot happening right now in the production of uh, textiles and garments, but you have a different approach. Yeah, we are focusing on the laundry care process as laundry care is a process uh, in which the consumer has quite a lot of things to do still. Mm -hmm. uh, the only automation you find really if you have already put everything in the washing machine and uh, you start the button, then it's going automatically. But all around is done by the consumer mm -hmm. and um, the process needs a lot of um, resources. Uh, water, which is drinking water, of course, and electrical energy. And time. And time, a yeah. lot of time, yeah. And you're absolutely right. And uh, it's more complicated than you think of in the first moment because the textile industry has changed a lot. You don't only have, um, say, jeans which are 100% cotton, and you're going into sports, and uh, with your um, garments, you really find all the mega trends uh, involved. And so the question is how to wash it. What is the right combination in the laundry load? Uh, our dresses, can they be washed together or not? And uh, as a consumer, you get lost in this uh, more complicated process because you have inside of every garment you have an information mm -hmm. on how to wash with little pictograms saying how to wash but then on the washing machine you have different uh, programs with different names and if you look at the detergents detergents give you another information so you don't have a standard you have three different uh, right. devices right that's uh, that's the um, thing you have to wash and then uh, because the resources are so high, it's uh, in the future we have to find new solutions. And one solution is digitalization of textiles. If textiles would give the information how to wash uh, in a smart home, my washing machine uh, would be able to communicate with my textiles. And then the process can be fully automated. And uh, so savings in resources, and as you mentioned, savings of course in time and more uh, well-being for um, the people living in the home. Okay, yeah, thank you very much. I learned everything that I needed to know. Okay. Thanks very much for having me and um, thanks day. for the lecture I could uh, have on your um, presentation. Thank You're you. Very welcome. Bye bye. bye.